So here we have my basic LED circuit, which is just a 220 ohm resistor and a red LED hooked up to my Arduino. We've got one wire going to ground and the other wire going to one of the digital pins. Now, some of the digital pins in the Arduino can do analog writes, which is what we've got going on here. So you can see that the LED is not just on or off, it's being faded down rather crudely at the moment but it's being faded down. So what analog write allows us to do is write voltages that aren't just zero or five volts. So we can write voltages between zero and five volts. Now, in this case, that's allowing us to fade this LED. So looking at the Arduino, we see here, it says digital, and then over here it says PWM, which stands for pulse width modulation. And then it has this little squiggle. Now, pulse width modulation is the technology used to create analog voltages from these digital pins. Because these digital pins, as we've said before in, in my digital write video, can either be on or off. They can't be anywhere in between. So you can't just write from a digital pin 2.5 volts if it wasn't for this piece of technology called PWM. So PWM requ requires some specific setups on the pin, so only some pins can do it. So the ones with the squiggles next to them, so 3, 5, 6, 9, 10 and 11 are the ones that can do pulse width modulation or in other words can do analog writes. So we've got the other end of my LED hooked up to pin 6 because that is how we're writing the voltages that are between 0 and 5 volts. In this instance I've used it to control the brightness of an LED but in reality we can use it to control a load of things from motor speeds to the volume of a speaker. So to help explain pulse width modulation, I've drawn these graphs. So we've got time on the bottom axis and voltage above uh, on the y axis. So down here, we've got zero volts up here. We've got five volts and each of these sections here count for about 20 milliseconds. And the reason I've divided them up is because they are sections of a wave. So that's one wave cycle, that's the second wave cycle, that's the third wave cycle. And that continues throughout the pulse width modulation. But I'll explain that in a minute. So with a digital write, with a digital pin, we know we can either turn the pin off, which is zero volts, or we can turn the pin on, which is five volts. We can't half turn the pin on. So we can't, for example, write two and a half volts. We can either write five volts or zero volts. So how do we create analog voltages, i.e. voltages between zero and five volts? And, and we do that using a technique called pulse width modulation, which is what this is about to explain. So let's say we want to write two and a half volts. I'm gonna um, use blue to write the, uh, the, the wave cycle. So what we do is for the for one wave cycle, if we wanted to write two and a half volts, which is half the max voltage, what we would do is we turn the digital pin on for half the time, and then we turn it off, and then we'd leave it off for half the time. And, and what it does is, because this is such a small period of time, because this is 20 milliseconds, it's so quick, what happens is the average voltage, the, vol the voltage out is the average of the voltage over this time. So we get out two and a half volts. And what happens is that wave just continues like this. And we get an average voltage, which is two and a half volts out. So the red line here is what our component would see if it was connected to this voltage but what the digital pins are actually doing is turning on and then turning off. And the voltage we get out is dependent on the amount of time that the wave is on for. So this is the amount of wet time that the wave is on for. And this is known as the duty cycle, and it's as a percentage. So at the moment, the wave, in, in, the, in one wave cycle, the wave is on for about 50% of the time. So the duty cycle is 50%. So if on the bottom graph, we're going to draw another one and we're going to have a duty cycle of 25%, which means the wave is only on for about 25% of the time. Like that. 
And as a result, the voltage level is only going to be 25% of the voltage max. So we're going to get a voltage out that's 25% of 5 volts, which is 1.25 volts. And that is how analog write works. So if we do an analog write in our code, we write it like this. Analog write. Open our brackets. We say a pin number. And then we give it a number here. And this number is between 0 and 255. Now the reason it's 255 is because of binary. If you take an 8-bit binary number, and I've done a separate video on binary, but I'll explain it quickly here again. So if we take an 8-bit binary number, if they're all 1s, we know that the first column is a 1, second's a 2, next one's a 4, next one's an 8, 16, 32, 64, 128. And if we add 128, 64, 32, 16, 8, 4, 2, and 1, then it's equal to 255. Um, so that is why we use the value 255 in here. So, or between 0 and 255. So, um, how do we know, based on the value we put here, what voltage we're going to get out? So, this is where the math comes in. What we do is, voltage out is equal to whatever value we write here. So, say we write 100 here. So, so if we've written 100 here, this is how we'd work out the voltage that was being output. So, we'd say the value written here divided by the max value, which is 255. And then we times that by the max voltage that we can output, which is 5 volts for the Arduino. And 100 divided by 255 times by 5 is 1.96. And that would be in volts. So we can test this PWM theory in practice. As you can see here, we've got an analog write of 100 on pin 6. Down here, we've got our Arduino connected to a voltmeter via pin 6 and ground. And as you can see, we're expecting 1.96. We've got 1.95 volts. So we're 0 0.01 of a volt out, but that is pretty much there. If you wanted to work out the duty cycle, it's a similar calculation. So for the duty cycle, it's equal to, and again, if we had 100 as the analog write value, we'd do 100 divided by the max value, which is 255. And that will give you a decimal number, so to turn that into a, um, a percentage, we times it by 100. 39%. So the duty cycle of an analog write of 100 would be 39%. So setting up analog writes is super easy. It's mostly the same as digital writes. There's only a few small differences. So first, let's set up our LED at the top. So in LED equals... 6, because we've got it wired to pin 6. Remember, the pin you use up here must be one of the PWM pins, which are marked on the Arduino board with a squiggle. Those pins are 3, 5, 6, 9, 10, and 11. So that this pin here has to be one of those. Now we're going to set it up in the pin mode, pin mode LED, and it's uh, we're writing to it, so it's going to be an output. And now in the void loop, so if we're going to digital write, we do it like this. The only thing we change with analog writes is we write analog instead of digital. So we open our brackets and then we tell it which pin we're writing to. Same as we would with a digital write, we comma, and then we say with a digital write, we'd say either high or low, like that. With an analog write, we give it a value between 0 and 255. So we're going to say 100. And then, so that, I mean, that's it, really. Um, if we just wanted to write one voltage level, i.e. 1.96 volts in this instance. But if we wanted to fade the LED, like I had at the start of the tutorial, you'd put a value close to 255 to turn it all the way on. So let's start with 255. Then let's have a delay of half, half a second. And then you would analog write again. So another analog write to the LED. I mean, let's take away 50 from the from the right value. So now let's do 200. Or, well, let's take away 55, actually. And then another delay. And then 500. And then analog right. LED. 
Take away another hundred and no, so take away another fifty, sorry. And then another uh, delay. Delay five hundred. And look right at D hundred. And so you get the idea. And what this is gonna do is this, it's gonna start at full brightness. There's gonna be a half a second delay, then it's gonna fade down to four fifths of its brightness, approximately. Then there's going to be a half second delay, it's going to fade down to three fifths of its brightness. Half second delay, two fifths of its brightness. Uh, and if we continue going, and so this analog right, right at the end would be exactly the same as saying digital right LED low. In the same way, this analog right at the top would be exactly the same as saying digital right LED high. All the analog rights in between are just writing voltages between 0 and 5 volts.